Hey everyone, this is Fernando doing another video for more survivalists. As you see, I'm preparing dinner and this time I'm using lentils. This is gonna be the main ingredient of, of this food. Lentils are uh, a superfood. They have pretty much twice the amount of uh, nutrition that wheat has. Winter red wheat, twice the amount of nutritional value, twice the amount of protein, pretty much twice the amount of everything in lentils. That's one of the reasons why I like it so much. It's also easy to cook, stores very well when properly packed. Um, it has the same uh, cooking uh, time as, as rice, so it's not like some of the, those bigger beans. You don't even need to soak it in water before cooking. So all good reasons why to like uh, lentils quite a bit. I'm going to be making a stew. I don't have any proper name for it. It's just an, an invention of mine. Um, I'm going to be using, of course, those lentils, about a liter and a half of water, salt, a, a couple drops of oil. I'm going to be using uh, a handful of a uh, fist of uh, rice just uh, it combines nicely with lentils rice and lentils they go along very well uh, a little bit of vegetables as well um, and some tomatoes uh, these uh, you know just chopped tomatoes this can has a little dent it's actually a dent that I did myself when moving them around uh, in the shelves so of course, it goes into the front of, of the line for use. Uh, try using those, any can you have uh, that you accidentally put a little dent on it, try using it before anything else because this is the kind of thing that compromises its um, shelf life in long term. It's well within the expiration date and I did the dent myself so there's no problem there, but if you have those, use those first. I'm also gonna be using a little bit of, of a pork here uh, any leftovers that you have, anything at all, I've used it, pretty much everything. It, it, you know, even already cooked leftovers, any leftovers of, of, of meat, they go along well with, with lentils in this stew. I've been using this, um, the Hulta Ford's heavy duty knife, so as to cut some of it there. Not, not an awful amount of meat, I, I don't need a lot of it. It's just, you know, just for the taste of it, a little bit. It's all going to be cooking well there in, in our stew. One of the things you learn in, in South America is never eat, to never eat red uh, uh, meat that is still a little bit raw or red. It has to be all well done, you know? <laughs> Sometimes uh, I remember last time I was in, in the United States with some friends, they were having dinner and some of them were eating like bloody uh, bloody beef and such or steaks that's uh, yeah that, that's the kind of thing you want to avoid especially and you know it's like a, a good rule in general to avoid eating that because anything bad is still left alive if, if there's still any red in it so the, the the rule of thumb is it there has to be no red in it I know some people like their meats uh, a little bit more bloody and such it's just not a good idea, especially if you're gonna be using uh, any you know, meat that may be contaminated. Well, if it's well cooked, if it's well cooked, any dangerous thing that, it will, that may have, it's gonna be going for the dog. Any, anything that, uh, any dangerous uh, thing that may be in the meat, if it's well cooked, if there's, no, if there's no pink or no red left when you cut through it, that means you, you pretty much killed everything. So cutting it into small, uh, pieces like that is gonna be getting the job done so we come back here we have our water I'm gonna be putting some of those yeah well I'll actually start uh, let's check out those those tomatoes first you're putting this somewhere else Washing the hands. So 
right, let's see what's in, in here. Well, that's pretty much what I expected. There's not much of of pieces of tomato left in there. So we're gonna be putting this all here. Looks like a big mess. It is to a point, but no big deal. <laughs> as long as it's all well cooked. This is gonna be taking about, uh, I wanna say like, maybe 30, 40 minutes. 40 minutes tops, not, not more than that. Still have a little bit of that meat left in the hands and it was kind of slipping there. Just gonna try, there we go. I'm gonna be putting all this with all the juices and water and all that stuff straight in there. There we go. <laughs> And the meat. And now a little bit of, of rice. This is whole grain rice. Not too much, just a Yeah, there it is. That's pretty much it. And of course our lentils. Kind of running out of space in there. <laughs> but as it starts boiling little by little, the water is gonna be evaporating on its own pretty fast. So I'm not really that worried. Uh, yeah, just no, not, not the full package, that's, that's going to be getting it done. So, putting this, uh, just a little, a little bit of salt. <laughs> and then we'll try testing it as, as we get further on. What a big mess. <laughs> there we go, turning this on over here. And I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes to see how this is going. So I have it boiling nicely now. It's in level four. That seems to be the, the, the adequate point for it to be like softly boiling like that, not too aggressively. So it has to come out of it. And, and this is the point where, where we could live, leave it like for half an hour or so. Yeah, again, stirring every once in a while so as to not have it stick in the bottom. But uh, this this is a good a good uh, boiling point, just like that. A, a, little, a few little bubbles here and there. Lentils are again a fantastic source of protein when, especially when meat is is more of a luxury. So again, that's why it, it makes such a a great uh, survival food. Lentils are are used in, in many countries where meat is just too expensive so so it's a it's kind of a replacement for that if you don't have meat available this is more of a, a luxury lentil stool <laughs> because it has of course a little bit of, of meat in there and plenty of plenty of food one of the ways you could go about this if you are in in, in like if you're eating it if you're digging into your your survival food and you have to make the best out of it would be using most most of it using rice and just a handful of lentils for for protein using it almost as you, you would be using a canned meat so that that would be basically how, how you could go about it if you have to stretch your supplies this is pretty rich there's mostly lentils and just a small amount of, of whole grain rice. So yeah, it's, um, th that's one of the ways you could go about it. Just using mostly white rice, 
a handful or two of lentils and anything else that you you can buy or any leftovers that you may have or any small game that you may have caught or hunted or or someone passed along to you but uh, these these messes of of stew are very are very good because you can basically use anything that that you can you come across so rice lentils that sort of thing they they go along well with this type of, of cooking. Again, key factor is cooking it very well. Especially if you're gonna be having any mysterious meat, <laughs> any roadkill in there, or anything else that you're not entirely sure about how, how good it is on its own. Just make sure it's, it's boiling there for a good amount of time. You're gonna be killing anything that you don't want inside your body. 40 minutes into cooking, the uh, lentils are already pretty much done, very nice and soft. As I said, they don't need any soaking in water. I'm going to be adding a little bit of white pepper, just as to make it, you know, just carefully, not, not too much, just a little bit. Yes, just to give it a, an extra, an extra little bit of, of flavor. That should get the trick done. As you see, it's already the water is pretty much done already. I'm just waiting for for the bread to be done. It's gonna be in a in a few, couple more minutes, but this is this is pretty much ready to serve as it is right now. Maybe a little bit more salt, just a tad. I don't want to overdo it, but it's a. Uh, pretty full of lentils so maybe it was needing a little bit more taste now this is this is personal taste of course some people like it more spicy some people we generally don't don't like spicy food much but lentils in if it's in if it's not uh, with, with something else for people that don't like for people that like spicy food it may be a little bit too bland so maybe a little bit of pepper or if you like maybe adding it a little bit more but it's generally good uh, lentils tend to go good with anything that you have around so but of course any anything else that you like to add yourself this is up to your imagination so people that's pretty much it this turned out pretty well I I'm happy I added a little bit of pepper uh, any spices that which is a good reminder to have spices to uh, you know make food a little bit uh, tastier since most of, of the staples you may have in your food supply are pretty bland on its own you know like rice and such uh, rice lentils if you add a little bit of, of, of tomato sauce that works well but any spices uh, pepper not only salt but pepper or any other thing that you may may like on your own that's that's a good idea to have in your supplies as well and that's all guys uh, dinner is is ready and served and that's gonna be it remember folks to subscribe to the channel have a great day and see you on our next video take care